This week's Todd Talks, I'm going to teach you the difference between a seller's market and a buyer's market and how you can take advantage whether you need to list or whether you're looking to buy or even both. Hi, this is Todd Baker and I am DFW Mortgage Master and a Mortgage Planner. So let me share this with you. So in a seller's market, it's divided as six months or less in inventory, a neutral market six to seven months and a buyer's market greater than seven. So right now we're at, at three months inventory. Now I want to take a little tributary here and talk about something. During the housing crisis, we had bad loans because people were given 100% financing with 500 credit score with no income or asset verification that adjusted in two years where the payments went up. So what ended up happening is, is there was a flood of people that lost their homes and that created a cascading effect on the economy with job loss and then it started to accelerate ending up in almost a 14 month supply of homes on the market and that's what created prices none of that is happening right now since that event we've had a 10 year period of being underbuilt we are not building enough homes in the united states for our population we're 72 point million units short nationally and the same phenomena is here in texas so what we really have is we have a mild seller's market right now, but because rates have normalized, meaning they're higher than they, what they were a couple years ago, the buyer demand is muted. There's not as many buyers entering the market. They're sitting and they're waiting. So what that's happened is it's kept prices stable, but we have a situation where, number one, if you want to sell, you're going to get top dollar for your house. You might have to, in a case-by-case -case basis, you might have to offer... 10 or $15,000 in concessions, either in price or towards closing costs to get that house to move, but it absolutely will sell. The thing is, is this, if you're a buyer, what's happening is the average days on market is 57. So what I've seen this just this week alone in the last few weeks, I've had instances where there's multiple offers and we could not get any kind of concession price or otherwise, we had to fight to win and be the winning bid. But I've had others that have been sitting for a little bit, even two or three weeks. Here's the thing, guys. Sellers in Texas, they're used to selling houses in like a week or two. So if it gets past there, it could be a great house. It just it hasn't sold yet. That seller is going to be willing to negotiate. And I want to show you how effective it could be. Let me sh I want to show you a price concession versus a closing cost concession, just as an example on how to negotiate and how to take advantage as a buyer in this market. So I did this example this up here a little bit. I did this example where we said, what if we had a purchase price of 565? The house has been in the market, say, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, and the seller wants to move. So keep this in mind. The seller doesn't wait three, what does want to wait three or four months to get their full list price at that point. They're thinking, you know what, if I have to give up $15,000, I already have a ton of equity. I'm willing to give up a little bit of money to do the thing I need to go do, to buy the house I want to buy, to move where I need to go, whatever their reason for selling is. And so there's room to negotiate. So the normal thing you're going to want to do, and most of your agents are going to want to do, is to negotiate on price. They know I get you a better price. And there's a benefit to that for sure. But there's a better way to take that money, and that's to apply it towards closing costs so where you can buy the rate down, cut your out of pocket, and let me show you what happens. So if, I, so if we had $565, if we had a $15,000 concession, we could get the house for $550. In this example, we're putting 5% down. You see the payment's 46.32, out of pocket is 54.73. Now, same exact situation, but this time we're taking 15,000 towards closing. So we give them full price. The payment is $119 higher in this in this instance, but the out of pocket is 35,446. So if you just take the difference and divide that by by 119. Number one, you're looking at almost 10 years to recapture that money, but that's not even the way to do a, a full cost analysis. You need to take into consideration the amortization schedule, the whole thing. So what I did is do a side-by-side -side analysis up to 10 years, this one still wins. And the shorter you go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say here's 10 years, it's a better cost base to side-by-side -side over 10 years. Okay, now let me show you something else. Let me, show, let me take it to one year. So, if, so some, people, some people will say this, well, I'd rather take the price reduction because we're probably gonna refinance in a year because rates are gonna drop. So let's do the other extreme. Let's do one year and let's see where that gets us. Okay, so I made it down to one year. One year, it's, it's even a bigger savings. It's almost the full $15,000. So here's the message. 
we're in a soft seller's market. There's, it's a great time to sell because you're going to get pretty much full price or close to full price. Okay. And the thing is, if you have to sell and you're buying something around town, you can still get contingency offers accepted, meaning in many cases, buyers will allow you to or sell, other sellers will allow you to sell your house first. Builders are even allowing that right now. That's an advantage we have right now. And you get the same benefit on the other side of the buy side, where you're probably going to be able to negotiate. And even if it's not a concession on price, the time of the escrow closing, allowing you to seller's house, there's just there's flexibility right now and the ability to negotiate. Now, what's going to happen when rates go down? Guys, when rates go down, buyer demand is going to spike. And when that happens, when buyer demand spikes upward, and we only have a three months shorter of inventory of homes, that inventory will be wiped out and you will be in most cases on almost every house, a multiple offer situation paying over the list price once again. And so right now is a great opportunity to enter this real estate market. If you need help with a mortgage plan, mortgage planning is a fusion of financial planning and lending where I build you the perfect plan that fits in your budget and gives you the lowest cost loan with a long-term highest net worth. That's what I do for my clients. Reach out and give me a call. Hope you have a great day.